Mohammed Barafi is no stranger to business. He and two friends opened their first Lesage restaurant in St. James in 2012. But he's always wanted to be downtown. It's a dream for any business to open in downtown. Like, you know, it's, it's the heart of the city. Last May, they made it happen. A restaurant that used to be here closed during the pandemic. Lesage got the spot and equipment. We believe in ourselves, we believe in our product. And then, uh, like, I believe the people, they, they love our food. And then, like, we always get, you know, a comment, why you guys, you don't open your second location. So, you know, it's motivate us a lot to open. Big name businesses like the Fur Furniture and Cobb Bakery shut their doors in 2022. But there are startups as well. This downtown menswear store on Colony opened a week ago. Daniel Bassani says they had to seize the moment. Rarely do you get an opportunity to kind of like push the needle forward for the city in terms of like opening up a concept like this. So um, we were undeterred. 2022 wasn't all bad news for businesses in Winnipeg. Joe Carnelson, head of West End Biz, says in the West End, they saw more openings than closures. At the start of the year, there were 862 businesses, and by mid-year, 872. So that's all business growth. That's not expansion of our zone. Our zone is locked in its size. So this shows a return of businesses, a growth in confidence. Basani says it hasn't been easy. In less than a week since opening, hobbyism has had a window smash, and Lesage has had a couple of break-ins as well. Still, both men say the support they've gotten keeps them going. The, the community around us, the support of the community, that's you know always motivating us and keep us going. I feel like if we keep our doors open and you know we stay working hard, people will come through and they'll see, you know, um, the the good thing that we're doing here. Despite some setbacks, both businesses are optimistic about more foot traffic and more business in 2023. Andrew Wiles, CBC News, Winnipeg.